murderers have been around since the beginning of time. Why do people do such horrible crimes? How do they find pleasure into doing something like that? What triggers them into doing it? I wish I knew the answers, but I don't. 25 years ago, someone got away with murder in past Christian, Mississippi. This cold case has been reopened by the police. They want to find who did it and put them behind bars for life. This is the story of a 19-year-old male named Wesley C. Quavis. This is the grave of Wesley C. Quavis, who was born on June 8, 1977, in Gulfport, Mississippi. He had a job with the family masonry business and was going to college. On one night of February 7, 1997, Wesley was driving down Delisle, and somewhere along the way was a shooting. Wesley was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Someone ended up shooting him in his 1992 Chevy Cavalier. He was shot two times in the head. Wesley's body was later discovered by a security guard, and his vehicle slumped over the wheel with the engine running. The police were called immediately, and an investigation began. About 99% of the graves have a fence around them. Something you don't normally see that often at a cemetery, right? Same with the sand. The cemetery has a lot of sand. And we're kind of close to the beach. So that probably explains why. Now what does this say? If anyone knows who the people are that is buried here or any other unmarked grave here at Sand Hill, please contact this number. So it's a baby's grave that doesn't have a marker and apparently it's unknown from what I read on this paper.
evidence collected at the scene and inside the car have been submitted for DNA testing in the past few years, but so far there has been no breaks in the case. There is a memorial for his death where the security guard found him in his truck somewhere along the street. This young man had a bright future ahead of him. He had a good job, he was working on his college degree, and sadly, it was taken too soon. His family brought his body to a standard Sand Hill Cemetery where he now lays to rest. Here's a couple that was born 2015 case later reopened in 2015 and is still open to anyone who knows anything about this. The investigators began to interview several people from back then, hoping to get any additional information, but still no luck. You would think with today's technology, it would be a whole lot easier to find the person who did this. I'll leave links in the video description for anyone who's interested in this open case. I hope you guys enjoyed the walk through the cemetery and I hope you enjoyed the story about Wesley. Check out my social links in the video description for pictures and places that I go around the states to visit. If you enjoyed what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next upload.